I first arrived in the South region, I was introduced to the Center for Assistance to Sustainable Development, CAST, and their director, Mr. Ashu. Uh, together, we wanted to find a way to introduce integrated agriculture. Integrated agriculture is um, a system for a farm where you have multiple components, um, such as chickens, pigs, fish, uh, vegetables, composting, and they work together um, to, to make the farm more efficient. They came up with this idea of uh, uh, an on-farm training center where we can train people on integrated agriculture. They come to the field, they work on the field, we do everything together for them to get their results and take it back home. The objective of this uh, integrated agriculture on-farm training is to increase income to see how we can maintain soil fertility, uh, not to have a shifting agriculture where people can work on the same piece of land for a good number of years. To reduce pressure on, on uh, natural resources in the forest. We want to increase the, uh, the way of uh, different sources of revenue so that they can have from vegetable, they can have from corn, they can have from chicken, they can have from piggery. We've had four or five trainings training about 30 farmers. We trained on poultry production, nursery preparation, transplantation, maize production, uh, soya. We have about four model farmers, all of whom are women, and they've bought chickens for to start raising. They, one of them has a fish pond currently. They're all doing vegetable production like we've taught at the center, and they're doing an excellent job. J'ai appris là-bas, jusqu'on a lancé un premier. Euh, après le, le légume, on a commencé avec le, le chauffage des poulets. J'ai d'abord assisté au chauffage des poulets jusqu'à la sortie. Première vague. Bon, deuxième vague maintenant, on nous a fait comprendre que si quelqu'un était intéressé, tu pouvais lancer et entre temps, on devait suivre. Bon, j'ai aussi essayé. Et jusqu'à présent, je crois quand même que c'est bon. We train farmers on how to collaborate and how to share their problems and their successes. Those who train, they go out and train other farmers. I think it's very sustainable that way. That, that way, uh, what they acquire from here grows out. It's really a community. And the second thing is to change the ideas, like the pork. We don't have the pork that we put it was important to us that a lot of our farmers were women. The women are practicing subsistence farming, so they are only producing enough for the home, and they're not selling a lot of that produce. Most women, they stay in their houses for the men to come and you know, give them money. It becomes very difficult for them to live. At times, that is becoming very difficult now. So they themselves, they are very much involved to create their own source of revenue. So they become a, a bit uh, somewhat uh, independent. Avant d'entrer là-bas, je ne savais rien de tout ça. J'ai beaucoup appris. Et là, ça m'est bénéfique pour ma famille et pour la communauté aussi. Maintenant, quand je, je me dis aussi, au fur et à mesure que tu travailles avec des, des, des spécialistes, tu découvres des nouvelles techniques. This project is sustainable. Not only because of the farmers and the participants that we have and the people who work around the center to really make it what it is, but Mr. Ashu, the director of CAST and the person who manages the whole operation, he is very technically skilled. He's lived here for so long, they are his friends, they're his family, he, and so he knows how to work with them and inspire them and make sure that they do a good job, not for him, but for themselves and their family.